To me, the absolute most difficult part of trading is sitting in the trade and waiting for it to play out. Let me actually show you what I mean. All right, so here we are in trading view, taking a look at Tesla. And, and what I wanna do here is take a look at one of the trades that I have been sitting in. Now, over the past month and a half, two months, I've taken the time to make some adjustments to my strategy, to find a strategy that really works for me. And, and for me, what I noticed was when I chart on the four hour chart, the majority of it plays out how I expect it to play out. So I spent time charting the trade, watching the trade, uh, see how it actually played out. Most of the time I would take a trade, maybe I'd take it from here to here, when I really had the trade going from here to here. And right here, that's an $8 move as opposed to an almost $18 move. And, and I know profit is profit, but I've been struggling with this because it's like I want to take my profits quickly. I want to snag them quickly, but they're not always just right there ready to snag quickly. And I felt like this was the perfect play to look at because I quickly ran up on this play and, and then I went into the negative and then the play finally did what I wanted it to do. All right, in reality, this trade went on to right here. And as soon as I got out of this trade, I hopped in another trade. But looking at it, I entered a trade right here and I exited over here. And oh, hold on, I, I feel like I may not have been the clearest. All right, the, once again, the hardest part of this for me is I found that charting makes the most sense to me and plays out the best for me on the four hour chart. What I've struggled with is the fact that one trading day it's two candles on the four hour chart, so you don't get enough information. So pretty much for me, whenever I see we're in a supply zone, I need to grab a put. When I see we're in a demand zone, I need to grab a call. And, and I kind of just have to trust it. Like this trade I was in over here, I wanted it to keep going to the downside, but we have a demand zone here. So grab the demand zone right here. And, and now I'm up a good amount on it. And I could actually take profits right now. But why would I take profits on it right here when I have it going up here? I don't know. I personally feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but all right, let me put it into perspective for you. Okay. So right here, I enter the trade. If we look, it says Tuesday, April 30th, 1 PM. That's when I got in the trade. And then all this time goes by, I'm still in the trade and I finally exit the trade right here eight days later at market open on the same candle to, to me in my mind this is exactly how i want to trade but whenever it comes to me being in a trade in a moment i feel as if one thing i do too often is i focus on the trade i'm like hey what's going on like notice i have here let me set an alert so let's say i set an alert right here and and that alert is for me to get out and i have another alert set up here for me to take profit. I, I should be able to just leave this alone and go about my life. This trade took eight days. I think the contract I bought had 14 days worth of time. So it played out, made profit, all of that. But I'm going to be real. Somewhere in all of this right here, I find myself checking. Can I take profits yet? Hey, is it a good time to take profits? Whatever. And we come here. This right here, when we first hit right here, hey, I thought, okay, that's it. We got the move. We're going to take the profits. But then it comes back up for a retest. And then at this part, I'm down on my contract. But I know I have my stop loss up here for a reason. And I have my profit target down here for a reason. And yeah, patience is something that I struggle with. This is exactly what I want. It's kind of like I have the blueprint. I know exactly what to do, but I need to train myself on patience. So what I'm seeing with the charts is I have the blueprint. I know exactly what to do, but I feel like I need to trade every day. I feel like I need to watch the markets every day, but in my head, I know that's not what I need to do. And it's really to the point where during the day, I'm like, yo, I need to do something. So I'm not sitting here waiting on this trade, not sitting here focused on the market, not sitting here thinking, oh, am I going to take my profits today? And I always sit there and stare and think, oh, I have some more money left in my account. Maybe I'll make a day trade. But then I look back 
and my day trading habits. And I'm like, let's not go there because I know myself. And for me, that is a slippery slope. And I don't want to go down that slope again. I would rather consistently make profits five to six times a month over getting burned every other day because usually when I get burned day trading, it's usually worse than when I take profits. I know this may not be the case for everyone, but it's definitely the case for me. I'm really more kind of making this video for myself and to anyone who wants to like watch and see my development as I am transitioning as a trader. I would say I used to be more of a day trader. Now I am more of a swing trader. Sometimes I'm able to take profits in the same day whenever it is, whenever the market wants to go crazy. A lot more recently with the SPY, it's really just been swinging from one night to the next morning and taking profits, been loving that. But ultimately, this is exactly what I want. This gives me more time to focus on other things like my fitness, uh, more time to educate myself and focus on other ventures, more time for my family, more time for my friends, more time to be creative. So honestly, this video is kind of more of a rant, but I just want to put this here to show you, this is me right now struggling to transition to being patient in my trading. If you relate in any way, shape or form, please don't hesitate to, hey, drop a comment down below, reach out to me in Discord, DM me on Instagram, anything like that. I, I love to connect with y'all, especially when you're on the same journey as me. Oh, and one more thing. If you haven't already taken advantage of it and are interested, be sure to get your 10 free fractional shares from Moomoo using the referral link down below in the description. When you make a deposit of $100, that's an instant 50% return on your investment. And just so you know, that referral link down there is exclusive. If you try to sign up on your own, it'll only be seven free fractional shares instead of 10. So if you haven't already and are interested, be sure to check that out down below in the description. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.